a rag or something crazy. Ooh, knife juggle is really good. Yeah, that was very solid. Just throw I'm down. I'm very, down very surprised it. we did not see coin scientists, but um, Hydrant's probably just gonna slam Doomsayer. All right, never mind. Hmm. There are a few considerations going into what you want to do. And I love, I love turn two Doomsayer against. Secret Paladin. I think it's like easily one of the best plays you can make. Yeah, it shuts him uh, down real hard. Yeah, it really just makes it so. I mean, especially after you see them skip turn one, like they play the juggler on two off the top. That means there's, there's no way they're getting a muster down on three, which means this muster's gonna sit in their hand for a while because, you know, on four they obviously want to try to play the shredder. And I don't know, it's really good. But I mean, with the with the uh, Frost Nova in hand, it is very tempting to hold on to it, so you can't blame him at all for that. But uh, it seems like a decent amount of pressure coming out from Zelay that Hydra's going to try to negate with a Forgotten Torch here, which yeah. ended up just adding damage, so. Exactly, it doesn't actually take too much damage off besides that one juggle. And like you said oh. before, Ragnaros is definitely a consideration for something that could ex propel Zelay to the win here. Uh, he doesn't, right. it's not like he's getting it anytime soon, but that would definitely be a contributing factor if he does win this matchup. Yeah, we could, we'll probably see Frost Nova coin Doomsayer here, I would assume. Nope, never mind. We're just going to take some more damage first. Hydra's really hold on to that coin, um, and he really wants to get as much value out of that Frost Nova Doomsayer turn as he can. It's not half bad to go with it by uh, dropping it on turn five, because that means your opponent can't actually play. Um, can't play Mr. Challenger on six, mm -hmm. so it's pretty it's pretty good. But at the same time, you could also walk directly into like a Lotheb. Like for example, if that was a Lotheb instead of the Sludge Belcher, that was a lot of extra damage that Hydra was going to end up taking. No, so my question little written is, yeah. do you think maybe Hydra wanted Zelay to play his Lotheb? Uh, no. Yeah, all right, that makes sense. <laughs> <laughs> I don't. I don't think. I don't think Hydra ever wants to see the Lothab, especially out of Zelay. If Zelay's dropping the Lothab to to push an additional like seven or eight damage, plus a Lothab to like around like thirteen damage or so, that's a lot of pressure, especially when you're already down to seventeen from Hydra. Because imagine if that was a Lothab, and then this turn he'd be going down to like less than ten health, like in rag range already, going into turn seven the following turn. I don't know. That se that seems a little a uh, little sketchy. Yeah, it seems pretty tough. Well, Hydron is able to successfully put a stop to Zelay's board and his incoming damage. Now, Zelay doesn't have really too many options. He could play one of his weapons. Monster of a Battle would seem entirely useless. Cogham would hit. just try to push his damage. Just swing and end your turn. Yeah. Now, do you even Redemption? Or I would personally hold it for either an incoming Tyrion or that Ragnaros if you end up never getting your Challenger. Well, Redemption's probably never really going to get any value in this matchup because the mage will almost either never attack your minions or kill them all at once, which means the one ones will usually pull it. Mm -hmm. But, uh, I mean, you don't play it because a one one comes back. There's just really no point. Exactly. Because then you just be left with a one two and a one one. And that's not yeah. really valuable to you to bring back that one one. If it was potentially something that you would be able to protect with that little wall. That'd be great, but not really. Now, Hydron has a few more options here as the pressure has slowly come off thanks to this Frost Nova Doomsayer. And he still has a Blizzard to slow another board entirely. Yeah, this game looks really good for Hydron. Yeah. He just, he's just missing some card draw. Um, he could very easily just die to this rag, uh, but we'll have we'll have to wait and see. Because uh, if Hydron starts picking up like card draw and like Emperor and Alex Straza, like this game's gonna pretty much just snowball out of control. But he doesn't I mean he doesn't even have burn to kill the rag. Like the rag could live for a couple turns. And yeah, that would be devastating for Hydron, especially if the rag lives one turn and you're able to throw down well, you're able to get redemption value, but I don't quite think that'll happen because right now redemption is likely gonna be triggered on the top at least. Well, he does pick up a way to kill it, unless he uses the blizzard now. If he holds the blizzard, then next turn he can blizzard ice lance ping off the rag. Well, that would still be one damage off killing it. Would it? Two plus four plus one? What is that? Seven. All right, well, looks like we're going back to the drawing board, boys. <laughs> back to the lab again. Back um... to the lab again. As you can tell, as you can tell, math is my first language. Mine's Russian. Um, 
Why you gotta bring race into this, bloody? Whoa, bruh, that's ethnicity. Race is socially constructed. You see what's happening right now? I feel like I'm being attacked. <laughs> Alright. Twitch chat, bring the swords and the pitchforks. Attack bloody. Bring the swords. All the mods come in. <laughs> It's funny because the guys with the swords are gonna be the ones attacking me. It's only my friends. It's only the mods. You have no friends, buddy. Oh, all right. Play, play the rag, Soleil. Play the rag. <laughs> he, he doesn't know if he wants to play our mirror entity or not. Am I right, Kappa Keepo? <laughs> I mean, double cog hammer is definitely not a consideration, so there's not much else we can do here besides just play his rag. I can't intellect is sick. Arcane intellect is, as you say, sick. Sick. Yeah. Yeah. Like you're saying um, see ya? Like a little kill. Nope, it's not what I'm saying at all. Whoa. <laughs> Eight damage to the face. Um, a second ice lance. Now he can kill it. There it is. Now we like, now Shimoda can, wait, can math. Wait, I don't think he can kill it, can he? Well, yeah, he can. He can just blizzard and then ice lance, ice lance. If the yeah, avenge but... doesn't fall on it. But it will. No, 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 it'll wait. No, that still kills it, never mind. Does it still kill it? Yeah, and the redemption gets procced on one of the 1-1s. One oh yeah, so it's 50-50 to miss anyway. Yeah. So he's good. Yeah, he's clear. I don't know, Zelay's in a really bad spot. He's in a bind here. Dude, Shimona Cat is the best caster, Jinj. This is a 10 minute later shout out to Jinj for making sure we know that Shimona Cat is the best caster. Jinj is gonna love that. Just you wait. Let's see. Yep. Rip Rag. Rag is gone, and so are most of the chances of Zolay winning this game. I mean, Hydron doesn't have too many cards in his hand. He does have Intellect, and one of his cards are coins, so... Zolay has kind of a chance if he really starts drawing some bombs like Dr. Boom and Tyrion, but it's really unlikely. I don't know, yeah. Zelay's not in a great spot, but as you said, Hydrant's really running low on resources. He does have the intellect, so we'll see that come out next this turn, unless he picks up straws off the top. Blood Mage, some more cycle. Alright, I mean, we'll probably just cycle the Blood Mage, I would assume, at least. Because, I mean, I don't know. If Hydrant just, like, whiffs the next, like, three or four draws, yeah, Zelay could, so could just kill. You just kill him, slay him. Cut him down. Cut him down, drop him, get rid of him. Yeah. Hydrant is starting to draw into some of his burn, but like you said, he is going to need that Alex Straza. Keeper Voldemon is pretty decent to apply just that much more pressure. Now, I don't fully recall if Hydrant actually played both Doomsayers or not. Um, I think we've only seen one. But I mean, either way, you're Keeper Voldemon and going face here. Yeah. None may steal yeah. Our yeah, yeah, definitely. Uh, it's just uh, it's... I guess you kill the blood mage. Like you have lethal anyway. Hmm? Yeah, no, of course. Just not with your three three. With your face. Yeah. Yeah. So, what does Hydra need to draw here to slow down Zelay and win the game? Fireball. Well, and I mean, pyroblast. those are not. We could, we could just pyroblast the face here. We could. Like I think. I think we might just go in. Uh, I mean, you could also just like Frost Nova, like Fireball ping the face if you wanted to. It's not half bad. Um, I don't know. I think with the way your hand's looking with, what is it, 20, 22 damage, you're only five damage off lethal. So if you whittle in some pings, all your, your one burn spell away from just the game ending. And you have the Frost over to buy yourself a turn and the Ice Block to buy yourself a turn. So I don't know. I think Frost Nova plus Fireball ping is the play. Yeah, I agree. I think that ping is a little bit more valuable, especially if you find yourself caught by one and on one uh, damage off at some point in time. Definitely, that ping is useful to start weaving in there. Just like hero powers are generally. Yep. A way. And we're gonna top decks a golden Doctor Boom, and essentially Bro. puts Hydron in a really awkward spot moving forward. Even if he does remove, there's just a chance that Boombot will be able to deliver six damage. Uh, assuming that, you know, Zolay's face isn't frozen off. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh boy. I think I think you have to go for it. I think I think you have to blizzard ping the face here. Hmm. The other consideration is ping the shredder blizzard. 
So you can ping it again. Get no, it no, 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 you don't. You don't want. No, you never want the uh, shooter to die this game. Oh, oh, he lived. Oh. He lived. He lived. Everything's fine. And that's actually just enough to the point where Zelay can't actually proc him with just the cock hammer. So this draw from Zelay is really important. And he actually he doesn't pick up anything to pop the block. So this is gonna give Hydra one full extra turn. One full extra turn. You're right. One full he has mucho turn. 16 damage in hand. Over two turns. But he has this ice block. Cannot use it. He really he's can a, just draw into anything and get. He's the been whittling at those things. Yeah, I think it's. I think this is probably the the pyroblast turn coming out from uh, from Hydrogen. Yeah. Ooh, but that arcane intellect is somewhat tempting. However, it's tempting. There's just a chance that the, your top deck is. No, I'd probably, I'd probably intellect. I'd probably intellect. Yeah, just to make sure you have what you need. Yeah, it's just, it's just a play. Okay. Man. Well, see, now you end up not having what you need. Yeah, that's just really sad. Yeah, I like, I like the acolyte ping here. Darn. It's a little bit of a feels bad moment. However, you still have one more chance, two more draws. Oh, well, you get, yeah, a total of three draws to draw a frostbolt, basically. Three. Yeah, you are right. I was just thinking the ping. There it is. There's a Frostbolt. There's the champion. That's enough damage in hand. Can Zelay top deck something like a Lotheb or a Kazan Mystic? Nope, it's just, it's just Lotheb. Okay. All right, all right. Relax, Kazan Mystic boy. All righty. Essentially, it's Lotheb or, or bust for Zelay here. Yeah. Well, he does have... If he, if he draws it, though, he does. he will win the game. Yeah. Actually, can he draw Lothab to win the game? That is not Lothab. He still gets one more chance. Exactly. Hmm. Um, yeah, I don't know. I don't think there's anything else. Hydra can't finish the game off this turn, but he can just Ice Block, Roaring Torch. That's a total of... Yeah, that's that's just enough. And then the Power Blast is going to be game over. Yeah, especially with that Fireball in there as well. Um, yeah. That is that yep. is the game for Hydron to win. So he did just keep on queuing his freeze. It's not over. It's not over. It's not over. It's not over. So Lake could still drop. Could still draw Lothab and he wins. Oh, you're right. I thought he was gonna power blast this turn. Then I, I remembered that there was no ice block up. Yep, yep, yep. You are right. Now is this Lothab? Lothab. And it is competitive spirit, not Lothab. Sad That's boys. the game for Hydron. That's it, man. That, this matchup, this matchup is fairly bad for Zelay, which is why I was wasn't surprised at all to see Hydra just keep queuing that freeze maze because it's bound to pick up a win. But um, good game there from Zelay. He almost had it. He just really just couldn't pick up that uh, that little bit of damage he needed to finish off the game. But um, close one. That's gonna bring it to a one-one tie. Yeah, one-one tie. Let's see what uh, what matchups are possibly left. Hydron's left with his Rogue and Warrior versus Zelay's We See Secret Paladin and Warlock. Now, I would assume it's Zulok. Zelay loves Zoo, and he is running a pretty aggressive matchup. Actually, I'm pretty sure it's Reno. Is it now? About to find out. We're about to find out. Let's see. Three, two, one. It is. We don't know yet. Still somewhat unclear. Still don't know. I'm it looks going... like it looks like Zoo, but all of those cards are in Reno Lock too, so we really could flip either way. But let's assume it's Zoo. Yeah, I like seeing this Emperor Tharson and Rogue. It's just making me think like. Emperor oh, it's Thar not Zoo! Yes! Oh, it's not Zoo! Wow, you are absolutely right. Okay. Correct. You're trash, dude. I'm the best. That was such a neutral starting hand. How could you tell? <laughs> You just I, just knew. I knew the whole time I never doubted. Never doubted. That has entirely no correlation to us getting the deck list submitted an hour before the game start. But Who has the deck list? Hmm? We do. Uh, deck list? I'm not looking at any deck list. I'm just you're the one that has the deck list. You probably looked at it and still got it wrong. Okay. Settle down. <laughs> <laughs> I'm heated, dude. I'm literally heated right now. That's mainly due to the fact that it's about ninety five degrees in my room, but could go either way. Southern California, best place to live. Now, Zelay has very little options. I think Peddler is the obvious situation here. I don't no, know. No, you just tap. You tap every time. 
Huh. Why? Uh, one, you want to find a four drop uh, to curve out, so since you have coin. Like you, the only plays here are, are you have Bran in your hand, so you want to get Bran with a peddler. So you could coin Br uh, Bran and then go with uh, the peddler next turn, assuming that the Bran lives, because there is a chance it lives here as long as your opponent doesn't have a backstab SI. And if it does live, then you get to wreck your opponent by just slamming down Peddler and getting two, two procs off it right off the bat. Uh, but for the most part, um, or Eviscerate, I guess, too, with some kind of proc, which would be kind of unlikely. But uh, for the most part, tapping there would be the, uh, the other option. You don't want to play Peddler alone. There's just no point. Hmm, interesting. I guess I'm still in the zoo mentality. I still think it's Zulok. Definitely Zulok plus Siphon Soul and Swamp Ooze. That's what I'm thinking. <laughs> sap. Okay, so the sap here is, I mean, it's it's decent from both sides. Um, Hydra's not too too bummed about it because there's not a ton of targets to sap in the Reno lock that you care too much about. And uh, Zelay's, I mean, Zelay's probably pretty happy about it because he didn't have really anything to do this turn anyway, other than play the peddler itself. So he's, he just slammed the brand again and hope his opponent didn't pick up a way to deal with it, which he didn't. So. Now, especially if Zelay is able to pick up a Defender of Argus from here, that'd be really solid. He does not. He yeah. actually gets oh, Soulfire. Interesting. What the heck? So this might actually be a uh, Mage Lock, right? No. No? Nope, it's it's. It's what? It's Reno Lock. Oh. He just has Soulfire. Reno Lock plus Soulfire? Yeah, just a tech card. It's not bad. I mean, Soulfire is a pretty decent card. Um, especially when he cycles. So um, I mean, he might just not be running like abusive or something. He's running abusive. This, it's this, right there. What are you talking about, dude? This might not be combo. We don't know if he is running combo or not. So if you're not running combo, then you have a couple, couple wheel spots. Interesting. That's a good point. Although, I feel at a point in time, combo is somewhat established as a superior. Ooh. That is the best card his whole hand he could have dropped. Yeah. Kudos to him for being the best. He's I, think, I think I like the void walk. Yeah. yeah, he's legitimately the best. That was crazy. <laughs> that uh, yeah, because if you're talking any of those other cards, it could have heavily impacted the game. But the owl is just a super dead card in this matchup. The only thing, the literally only targets the owl. The figurative only ca targets the owl is like blood mage Thanos. So. Yeah, because the only BGH target really is Van Cleef. So. You're oh, not even gonna owl that. You're just gonna BGH that. Doctor Boom. Oh. Dr. Boom and Miracle Rogue? Yeah, you want you want to know the first tip to make your deck good? Dr. Boom. Thanks, Chucky. But Dr. Boom. Thanks, yeah, Chucky. exactly. That literally is straight quote from Chucky. Yeah, he did well. He's, he's successful. Dr. Boom and Agro Shaman? Solid. You, think you want me to give him your number, dude? Maybe you guys can go on a date? Dude, I would love to. I mean, I got shut down by VLPS. All right, all right, all right, all right. All right. You're, take, you're taking it too far. You're taking it too far. Let's move on. You oh, do. my God. He drew Defender. He's the best. He is literally the best. Now he's going to be able to have a sweet trade with either his Voidwalker or his Dark Peddler uh, because he does have that abusive sergeant. However, it would feel a little bad to float that much damage. It's whether you want to keep something alive in particular or not. What I do you think is abusive, the play here? I think you abusive the Peddler on the far... You put the abusive on the far right. Abusive the Peddler. Trade into the Drake. Defender the Voidwalker and the Bran and proceed to the Dumbulay region. I like that. It keeps two full health minions alive. So the only consideration is... No, there's not too many other considerations. That seems like a pretty clean line of play. You definitely want to use your Argus when you have the chance. Okay, so he's yep. thrown it onto his Brand Black's Beard and his Voidwalker instead of the 2-1. Got him. No problem. Yeah. Uh, Idron's hand is very sad. It is. He has he has no deadly, so his flurry's dead. Um, the backstab we probably see backstab double SI kill the Bran off. That feels bad. So many options. Backstab double SI. That does feel bad. I mean, you do fill up your board a little bit. Uh, pretty vulnerable to Hellfire. You can also Gad gets an auctioneer and just hop in, but I do not think that's correct. Yeah, I guess no, I think the feels bad play is just the play to go with. 
Yeah, well, you just really want to take that board back from, from Zelay, and that's really what Hydran's kind of aiming to do. This early brand pressure is, <laughs> was really hurting Hydran because he had no no uh, backstab or eviscerate early to deal with it. And now we'll probably see a tap Dark Bomb turn. I mean, maybe Shadow Flame. I doubt we'll see Shadow Flame. I think tapping is definitely the way to start your turn off here, Hezele. Yeah, I agree. Uh, I don't think Siphon Soul is anywhere near consideration. And you can pretty much do everything else you need to do without all six mana. So tap is a solid one before you even start formulating your plan. Now, the other question is... Do you ever just hit face with your 3-5 and then Shadow Flame it? Oh, okay. Yeah, no, if you're gonna Shadow Flame, this is definitely the way to go. You just wanna get that, uh... You, you wanna keep all your current minions on board so you can push as much pressure as you can. Yeah. And it, it's actually working out pretty well. Unfortunately, he does have the heal bot in hand for his LA, so... Um, Hydran's not really feeling too much pressure, but he really, really wants to take that board presence back. I would not be surprised at all to see, like, a fan of Knives possible... <laughs> Um, like coin heal bot here, but he might just want to develop the weapon as well. So, might just yeah. see heal bot weapon and then save the coin for the auctioneer. I like that a lot as well. Yeah, lucky for Zelay, he was able to play the acidic swampoos and does not have to worry for at least the next few turns, as it seems about too big of a weapon that he really feels regretful about spending his weapon removal earlier. So it's good for him that there's no sharp sword oil or deadly poison in Hydra's hand, or seemingly anytime soon. Now, right now he's a pretty straightforward play of tapping or bel and belching afterwards. Interesting pickup, Shadow Ball. Ugh. So you are right, this is almost 1000% Reno Lock, and- I like Shadow Ball, I think Shadow Ball's good. Yeah, it's solid. It's nice yeah. though, because without the combo, you do have flavor cards like Shadow Ball that can find their way into helping you win a game. Yeah, sure, why not? I like it. Um, we could see the Shadow Bolt here, I don't know. I don't know if I necessarily agree with the tap there, because Belch or Dark Bomb seemed pretty clean, uh, but you definitely want to start whittling in the taps every turn, so you can't blame them too much for it. And it looks like we're just going to be pushing the face damage and maybe playing the Belcher. It's either Belcher or we're going with the Shadow Bolt. I'm not sure which way he's going. And okay. he literally does nothing of the sort. He Dark Bombs and plays BGH. I don't know. That play seems a little odd. Um, it's definitely not bad because I know I see what he's doing. He kind of he can kind of tell that Hydran doesn't have any strong form of board removal in his hand, so he really wants to commit as much as he can to the board now and kind of put uh, Hydran on a clock to the point where if he doesn't end up drawing an answer, he can just end the game. Now, um, using the dark bomb. It's a little unfortunate because you lose that potential to use a dark ball on the face. Uh, of course, we don't we don't know exactly what's in Zelay's deck. We don't know if he's running combo or not. So it really depends on if you need that extra reach. And there's the prep. prep. Is not helping too much. I mean, you can definitely get quite a few draws off your guy gets an option here next turn. Right now, it's not really progressing. Yet. When Zelay picks up a Dr. Boom, doesn't matter if he's running combo or not. Dr. Boom is always a very promising pickup. Yeah, good draw there from Zelay. Unfortunately, Hydran. Unfortunately for Zelay, Hydran does have that BGH, so Hydran's going to be in a pretty decent spot this following turn, especially if Zelay chooses to play the Doctor Boom. We could see like a tap Belcher if he's like really digging for more like heavy pressure cards, but for the most part, Doctor Boom's such a strong card against Rogue because very few Rogues actually run the BGH. No, Hydron, we do have to know, is not Oil Rogue, but he is Miracle Rogue, so definitely built slightly differently than the typical Rogue. And what he's going to pick up here from his Auctioneer is really going to make or break the game for him. He needs to draw into something like a weapon buff. Maybe a Sharp Sword Oil would be really nice. Uh, he probably doesn't run Oils in Miracle. It's probably just Deadly. Yeah, seems right. What exactly would you want to draw if you were high? Deadly poison. Deadly poison. Deadly poison. I don't want, I don't want anything but deadly poison and preps. Yeah. Maybe backstabs. Backstabs are fine. I was gonna say I'm trying to think. Oh wow. Oh, really? Nice. I'm really, really, really surprised he used prep before he played coin. Wow. Okay. So he's going for a little bit of a ooh. 
just slightly off of being able to hazard drink. Oh my god, dude. Are you okay, Shimahi? I'm not okay. I'm sorry. Boombots just ruined the whole game again. Once again. Once again, the Boombots have unleashed their wrath and slayed Hydran's uh, auctioneer and four damage to the face, so... Really, really brutal turn there for uh, for Hydra. And Zelay must feel, be feeling pretty pretty good right now. Yeah. I can't wait for Dr. Tentacles to be gone. Just give me a good feel. Okay, what you dream about in your own time, buddy, is none of the stream's concern. Stream, I want you to know that Shimona, he gave me the funniest look when I said that. I, really... I, don't know you, I don't know you were looking at me. That makes me a little uncomfortable. <laughs> I'm always looking at you. So, Eviscerate coming down to get rid of this Sludge Belcher. And Blood Mage Thalnos is decent for the card draw, not necessarily helping too much with the spell power. Uh, are it's you surprised nice. that he didn't backstab the 1 2? I'm not surprised at all, really. Like, Hydra's in a pretty bad spot, so he really needs to save his resources. He needs to play to win and just really put himself in a position where he can actually end the game. So throwing away the backstab just simply negate 1 damage isn't really. Uh, is it really where you need to go? Yeah. This Shadow Bolt just got so much value. Got him. Man. Just Slam. played a Shadow Bolt. Slam a jam. Viable deck. Oh, Mally. Okay, okay. Alrighty. So, how much damage do you have? So you just enough. slam it. You just slam Emperor and you end your turn, right? Slam Emperor here, Power Pass. Yeah. Hope you don't die. Guess oh, never not. mind. Slam this is a alley. decent clear. I mean, oh, yeah, how wait, likely is it that your Warlock opponent has a card that can kill your minion? Any minion in the whole game! <laughs> <laughs> well, I can't actually, kill... I didn't, I didn't even think about this, but this play is actually really strong. I didn't realize that he's in the spot where there's no way he's winning the game. Um, unless he takes a risk, and this risk is probably the best way to go. I wouldn't be surprised to see a, uh, a concede in the next turn or two. There's a God Guts and auctioneer, auctioneer, so maybe, just maybe, you're drawn to something. I, Gad, I don't see it's, anything it's, it's particular that can It's conceive. pronounced Gadgetstan. It's pronounced what? It's it's Gadgetstan. Is it? Yeah, I don't know what the hell you're saying, but the, the first part of the word is Gadget. The is second it? part of the word is Zan. It's Gadgetstan. 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 Yeah, it's, That's it's a place. Weird. Yeah, he's an auctioneer. It's a place in World of Warcraft. You, yeah, I know you've never played that game before, buddy, but it's a it's a place, yeah. String in Stranglethorn Vale. Uh, thanks, Shimonahi. For everyone sure, man. Know. Yeah, I agree. For everyone that doesn't know, Bloody is a scrub a dub dub. He is in the tub, and we are moving on to the final turn of the Warlock <laughs> Mali Rogue game. Uh huh. Yeah. I don't know, I guess it's not the final turn. We're gonna have to wait another turn. Well, nice. Solid commentary. Yeah, Sad boys. <laughs> it's just a, it's just about our time. I mean, Hydra doesn't really have any win conditions left. Um, he probably, I mean, I think his last cards are, we know he has two Dudleys left, a second Eviscerate, one Flurry. Um, a, a, does he have a backstab left? I don't believe so. No, no, no backstab. Played both backstabs, I believe. I recall one a lot earlier, and one just now with Maligos. Probably at least one Shiv, I would assume. Shiv, that's an interesting one. See, even this implosion hits too. At this point, Zelay's Zelay's just BMing. <laughs> well, I wouldn't say that. I feel like <laughs> I don't think it's necessarily <laughs> BM. I feel like it's more like extended, uh, extended gameplay. He's really just. What the heck? Joe just Kappa prided me in chat. I'm pissed. Yeah, this is this is right when you're bullying me. Someone said Luke is a bully, Vape Nation, but I realize it was ten minutes later, and you've just been a bully this whole time. I am a bully, dude. I'm a huge bully. You are. If I problem, you can fight me. I will, dude. You're not gonna fight me, buddy. You're just gonna cry. Whoa, man. <laughs> I'll meet you outside after Tuesday night hype. We'll see. Tuesday night fights, am I right? Ho oh ho! First rules, don't talk about it. Now, Zolay doesn't have enough damage to deliver lethal yet. Hopefully he could just draw into something and end this long, drawn-out process of beating Hydrun. Zombie Chai was gonna do it. Zombie yeah, Chai was actually gonna do the opposite. Just nether, nether, nether. 
I wonder if you play the Cho. I, I mean, you probably, you probably like, I don't know. I don't see a reason not to. I guess. I know you know your opponent has two uh, deadly poisons, so maybe you hold it. Yeah, I wouldn't play it. And yeah, just oh, like well. that, he draws the deadly poison. He could really preparation that for maximum value, but instead he decides to press the concede button. Yeah, that's, that's a good button. I, 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 I'm really solid. I'm really huge fan of that button. I'm really glad Blizzard implemented it. The concede button? That's nice. Yep. I'm surprised they haven't nerfed it with everything else they've nerfed. So Zelay is up 2-1 against Hydron. His Warlock got the win, and now he's just left with his Secret Paladin. Yep, so this is going to be Secret Paladin versus the Mali Rogue. Um, this matchup, a lot of people believe, you know, especially Rogue players, they believe all of their matchups are favored, but uh, Rogue does have a fairly strong matchup against Paladin in general, simply because, like, you know, they have, like, Backstab SI for Minibot, and they have Fan for the Muster, and yada yada, but... Um, and the Saps, of course, which counter, like, the Tyrion and the Challenger fairly well, but... Uh, you know, Paladin can always just overwhelm the Rogue, especially if Hydron draws anything like he did last round. Yeah. <clears throat> now, it is worth noting that Hydron is probably a little bit worse off because he's playing uh, Miracle Rogue compared to Oil Rogue. I think the matchup is slightly worse. But he still has all the Rogue cards that he needs to take care of. Take care of... Uh, Secret power business taking care of business. No? So, what? Oh, I sang along in my head. Sorry, I thought you heard me. Um, Zelay will probably throw down Knife Juggler. I see very little reason why not, and it's going to get answered very swiftly by Hydron's coin SI. I see no world where he does not do this. Yeah, coin SI is good. That was just the plan all along. We've been waiting. For this specific day, I mean, Master of Disguise was the reason that that armor card for Mage wasn't a neutral card, and now they're just gonna nerf it anyway. So I'm a little upset. I kind of wanted that armor card to be playable by something that's not Mage. Yeah. Yeah. Shimona here. <laughs> Tell me more, buddy. <laughs> Tell me. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Continuing on here, Hydron definitely respects the Knife Juggler. After all, now he knows what Shimona here. <laughs> Tell me more, buddy. <laughs> Tell me. <laughs> all right. Continuing on here, Hydron definitely respects the Knife Juggler. After all, now he knows what the secret is. And Dude, if Soleil draws Mysterious Challenger on six, um... He's the best. But he is the best. What are you talking about? I don't know. We'll see. We'll, we'll see if this guy... This guy's got the goods. And that's Blessing of Kings. Not it. He still has one more chance. For now, he can play a Sludge Belcher. And he has a vacancy on what to play on turn 6. I wonder what card. I wonder, I wonder. Now, looking at Hydra's point of view, he's building up a few options. Rogue is always filled with different options and that's why it's pretty hard pretty large skill cap but his hand is seem too great so clunky he doesn't have any options yeah, yeah his hand blows well he has options it doesn't mean they're good come on now his hand his hand is literally just a giant brick literally brick in a card brick in a card you probably just slam blood mage and fan maybe yeah i mean you could trade off the belcher that way if you really want to uh if you're doing that i would commit to killing the Belcher because then your opponent is just going to get value off his Shredder, who's at one health at that point. So right, it's just difficult. There's very little you can do here. You can really just throw down a heal bot, but that would be awful. Yeah, that'd be pretty bad. It's a hard time for Hydra, just simply because, I mean, these anti-heal bots are really clogging up his hand. It looks like he's going to opt just to slam one down. Yeah, I mean, it is a body. It's not a good one, but it's a body. At this point, Zelay could just hear power of Blessing of Kings if he wants. He could see her Keeper of Blessing of Kings. I don't see Keeper of Voldemort getting played here. His opponent's yes. minions are three threes. Like what else not are you gonna good. do? I think I'd like I think I'd like to see a Blessing of Kings here and just enter the dome. Now, who would you like to see Blessing of Kings get thrown on? 
Probably the Shredder. Thing is, we just saw Hydron have BGH in his robe, right? Yeah, but if 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 Hydra and BGH is my shredder and I slam Doctor Boom, I just win, right? That's a good point. Yeah. The only other consideration is possibly. Sap. Yeah. Maybe even yeah, clear if, your but board. But again, again, if Hydra if Hydra had Sap, he probably would have used it by now. That's a good point as well. He would have sat by shredder like twelve turns ago. Twelve turns ago. Yeah, this thing's just been doing it to him. Yeah. Now, do you ever just hear power and blessing of kings or your hero power? Keep her hold them on your hero power? Apparently. Yeah. I mean, it's not bad. It's it's very board centric option here, but again, like, Hydra just needs, just needs the damn blade flare, or the uh, deadly poisons. He's been looking a lot stronger. Yeah, he can still draw it off his fan of knives. So if he does that, then he is a champion of the world, and we'll be seeing him at BlizzCon. But if not, it's looking very, very grim for him. Especially with Dr. Boom coming out next. Yeah, Hydra is not drawing very well with his with his Mally Rogue. You wanna know what I'd like to see? I don't know. He's in a weird spot. I'm not really sure what he wants to do here. He's actually gonna just assume he's going to draw prep into Into what? Oh, he drew prep. He drew prep. Okay. All right. I like where this is going. Are you asking what's I next? Ask me what's next, buddy. What's next, Chimone? No idea. No freaking idea, dude. Thanks, man. Glad I asked. Really quality ask there. I don't know. Is he just? Is he dead? Is he just gonna die here? Is it uh, 13, 11. 17? Not yet. Yeah. Fourteen. Yeah. That's a Ragnaros, the Fire Lord. I think we just play Doctor Boom and go face. I agree. Maybe it's, maybe it's too risky to give my opponent the auctioneer, though. But what do you lose from it? Your opponent draws cards. What can he do on seven mana that successfully clears your entire board and or fills up his board enough that your Ragnaros is probably not going to hit the face? I think a Seeker Paladin. Here. You just hit face here. Yeah, I think I think I might feel too bad to trade. Nope. Oh wow. my gosh, the perfect synergy, placement, everything. Look at this. Look at this Zelay play. Stars align, and Zelay is crowned our Tuesday Night Hype number 70 finalist. I see virtually no way a Hydra can make a comeback here. Dang, dude, you're just, you're just throwing out titles now. Yeah, I mean, you're just like you know. You know what? Here's a crown for you, crown for everyone. Uh, my name is Bloody. I choose who wins. Is this rigged, Bloody? Is that what you're telling me? Shimon he is crowned smartass of the year. Congratulations. <laughs> and I'm just giving the people what they want <laughs> to see Bloody slowly and peacefully tearing apart. Tearn, nice, nice dude. Good one. Torn, 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 torn apart. I think it's torn, tor Torbjorn apart. Torbjorn. <laughs> yeah. Uh, that, that's it. It's Torbjorn apart. Yeah, um, yeah, no, Hydra's in kind of a tough spot here. He doesn't really have a lot of strong options. He's probably going to go with Blood Mage, Fan. Um, I don't really know what he's planning on drawing here, but he might. Oh, Sap. Perfect. Huh. Perfect. And two ones? No problem. That's how we win oh. games right here, boys. That worked really well for him. Unfortunately, four Hydra. Oh, oh dude. Oh. What do you even do? I think you just play. I mean, I don't know. I don't know. Decisions it's probably tier. It's probably. It's either Tyrion or Doctor Boom. I know for sure Rag is not the option. I would just because... drop Doctor Boom and a Seeker Keeper, which probably means that Tyrion is the right play. Yeah, Tyrion's pretty good. It is. You just saw the sap. You don't want to. You don't want to get screwed over by a top deck BGH and let him develop more of a board. This is a risky situation. Now. The 1-1 one, one value trades so hard into the Divine Shield, but do you really care, Azalei? No, you know what? If you're playing Tyrion, it's just going to be BGHable anyway, so you might as well play Dr. Boom. Yeah. I think Dr. Boom is the way to go. I agree, I agree. My, my consideration is just, you know, BGH, but Flame Tongue Totem is a blessing and a curse sometimes, and BGH isn't even in Hydron's hand. So what do you do here? You're one mana off Malagos, but even if you play Malagos, there's nothing else to do. You have only one spell to pair with your Auctioneer, 
And you can't even use that spell because you don't even have a weapon. You can Tharsen, but you, then you will die. You can cycle for possibly another sap. You yeah, can cycle first. Heal bot and keep yourself out of lethal range. Because there's you have to trade you have to trade into what you have to trade into one of the boom bots, draw it BGH, BGH, and then hero power down the totem. Okay. I like that. I'm a fan. I'm digging it. I Actually, if you draw BJ, you can like hear power and clear off the whole board with Blade Flurry, but either way, we need. Well, we got There's a shift. Shiv. You're right on that. And <laughs> That's three boom bots in a row that have hit one. Yeah. Zoli is really trying to take it easy on Hydron. I've noticed that once he's up, his RNG went downhill. Like that two plosion before, these one damage boom bots now. This is more than a coincidence. This is a conspiracy. Yep, but he's dead. Yeah. Seven, oh, wait. eight, nine. Wait, is he dead? No, he is one no, off of dying unless his boombot manages to hit the face for just slightly more. That Lothar Rag. is probably going to seal it though. Rag. Hmm. You're right. Yeah. Yolo Rag, who's in? I. Um. I like the boombot better. Yeah, no. You start. You start with the boombot because depending on what happens to the boombot, you can just win the game. That's. Um. If it if it hit that for three, you win, and if it hits face for more than one, or yeah, if it hits face for two or more, you win. So the boombot is definitely the correct place to start. Um. Unfortunately for Zelay, it didn't really go how he wanted it to. Yeah. I and uh. Most of now. Yeah. We're probably gonna go face as well. I would imagine at least he's not. I doubt he's gonna care about the actual proc. Yeah. And how likely are you get to get taken out? by a rogue from 29 when Lothar was played. I think the the chances are approximately 0%. Yeah, it's pretty low. Yeah. So, like I said before, Zolay is almost guaranteed to advance to the finals at this point. Hydron is unfortunately in a very bad spot. Now, Miracle Rogue is in a touchy spot here. Just in, in, in the meta in general, it really does work for some really talented players, but sometimes it gets cornered by those powerful, you know, net decks that are just generally stronger than everything else. And Zelay is able to take the win. Congratulations. You're moving on to the finals of Tuesday Night Hype number 70 to face off against Tom Fleur. So what did you think of the, that 